Today I'm on a rooftop in Chicago and I'm gonna help you guys get some more cinematic drone shots just like these. Let's get into it. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna do is make sure our settings are dialed in. So we're gonna first make sure we're shooting in 4K and 24 frames per second. That's gonna give you that nice motion blur and the highest quality. And then also, you're gonna go over to your camera settings. Make sure you have your histogram on, because I'll help you gauge whether your lighting is correct. As you can see, we have this nice Chicago skyline in the, in the foreground, but the second tip is make sure you have a plan before you get up flying. So I wanted to film Wrigley Field, which is right there. So we're gonna get over there quickly because we wanna have a plan so we can serve our drone's battery life because we all know they don't last for long, like 20 minutes, 30 minutes if you're lucky. So we're gonna fly on over there and the key thing when you're planning out something is always have a subject that you wanna film. It'll kinda lead the viewer's eyes to something in the image to kinda give them something to focus on in your drone footage. Also make sure you're not kinda flying into the sun. You wanna be filming with the sun. So. As you can see here, the sun is all the way over there and we are basically filming in a direct line with the sun. That's one key thing you wanna do when you're planning out a shot and a subject that you wanna film, is film from the side that the sun is going with your subject. And also just take into account the wind speeds and the conditions that you're in when you're filming because you don't wanna take off or get up in the air and then not be able to get back to where you took off from because that's always a disaster and a huge headache. And when you're finding a subject like I did with Wrigley Field here, you wanna pick something that's like a structure or a vehicle or a person doing something like this sick clip that I got while working in Puerto Rico. By giving your viewer something to key in on instead of just showing them a massive landscape that all blends together, it really helps making your drone footage look a little bit more cinematic. When I started flying drones, I was 14 years old. I got a DJI Phantom 3 for Christmas and I was, I was amazed. I couldn't believe what this drone was capable of and so I was kind of just more focusing on the amazing technology and not focusing on how to get the best shot with it. So I was just recording anything, doing awkward shots, and the thing that changed my drone footage to be able to use it for clients and use it on my short films was I started using intentional movement. And once I learned how to record in a constant fluid movement, my drone footage improved drastically. There are a bunch of different movements you can use when you're flying your drone, but if you wanna stand out and get that cinematic stamp on your footage, these are three keys. Whatever movement you use, make sure it's to accentuate your subject. And second, try to have two or three axes of movement because it kinda adds more depth and life to your footage that just simply going forward or simply going backward just doesn't really do it. Whether that's moving your drone in two different directions, like forward and up, or implementing your camera's movement by panning the camera up and down as you're moving forward and up as well, or backward and up. So here are a couple of my favorite multi-axis movements when you're flying your drone. This is gonna be the forward and pan up. Helps when you're establishing your subject. Kind of like this shot of the side of Wrigley Field. You wanna focus on getting a smooth movement too. Not a jerky fast, none of that. Just nice and slow and smooth, it'll help a lot. The second is gonna be a moving backwards and pan your camera down. It can also be used to intercut with your other establishing shot that you have of your subject. And it's another cool movement that you can add into your little gearbox of multi-axis drone movements. Another popular one is kind of rotating your drone. So you're gonna be moving forward and also turning it sideways at the same time. Looks something like this. And you can also add kind of a down movement as well. It gives a really cool effect when you're trying to show something like this ice rink inside of Wrigley Field. Another key with this rotating movement is you wanna to try to keep the same speed on your rotation throughout the whole shot. It will give it that smoother feel. So one of my favorite drone movements that I use a ton 
is gonna be when you're moving forwards and up and you pan the camera down. It gives this really cool effect and I used it in my short film. It was one of my favorite shots. So here's an example of that. And the key with this one is gonna be trying to keep your subject in frame because that's gonna give it that cool effect that you're kind of going for. And then the most important tip that a bunch of beginners forget when they're first getting started with their drones is they forget to go into post-production and add a good color grade and give it some sound design. No matter whatever look you're going for, adding a proper color grade to your drone footage will always give it that extra little whipped cream on your Sunday. But to get that cherry, you need to add some sound design. Give your shot the atmosphere it needs to be able to feel like it's a real bird's eye view of whatever you're shooting and the drone is picking up the sounds that it's around. It will really add that final cherry on top to your footage. All right, well, as I return this little drone home, I hope that these tips were super helpful for you in learning how to get the most out of your drone shots. And I hope that you can put some of this knowledge towards your next project. Got the drone back, it was barking at me. But if you guys have any other questions about drones, about cameras, anything else you want me to cover, let me know, I can make another video on that. And other than that, have a beautiful rest of your day and go create something. Peace.